shares of AMD are surging. Do I just use that word surging? How about like colossal gain? A company announced a massive new five-year deal with OpenAI. Cannot explain to people how big this is. Joining us now, first on CNBC CEO Lisa Sue and OpenAI's co-founder and president Greg Brockman. Uh, congratulations to both. Lisa, I'd like to start with you, okay? Yeah, good morning. Great to see you guys. Great to see you. Now, Lisa, this is a huge coup uh, because I think a lot of people felt that you were no ne nowhere near NVIDIA in terms of being able to uh, power, in terms of compute. Why don't you tell us why you think uh, what you've done in the last two years that make people realize that, wait a second, this is not a one-horse game? Well, first of all, Jim, it's great to be here with this morning. Um, it's a big day for AMD. It's a big day for our, our relationship with OpenAI. And frankly, I think it's an important day for the AI industry, right? What we're seeing is there's just a massive demand for more compute. I mean, there's so many applications for AI. There's so many places where we'd like to see it uh, used. And, you know, compute is the foundation of that. So we're super excited to announce this uh, deal with OpenAI. I think it has been, you know, something that we've been working on for a long time. And I think it says a lot about, you know, sort of the importance of having, you know, the right compute technology to really power this next wave of, um, of AI. So very, very exciting. Um, it's a huge deal. You know, Six gigawatts is a massive deployment um, at scale, and you know we love working with um, OpenAI, truly a leader in uh, this uh, this great industry. Okay, so Greg, uh, I've not I've not been able to meet you, and I feel remiss. Obviously, you're one of the most important people in this wor in this world of AI. I wanted to ask you. A lot of people feel uh, that there was a deal that you made with Nvidia, and was something I was loathsome. People were saying it was circular. I thought that was just blasphemy, because I felt that they really were going to go to the, whoever else had great uh, power. You went to Lisa and AMD. Why? What what, what attracted you? What, did, what was in the chips that you felt made it so you didn't just need NVIDIA? We need as much computing power as we can possibly get. And I think the whole industry right now is trying to really adapt to the amount of demand for AI services that we see coming over the, the next uh, couple of years. Uh, and I think that when it comes to uh, the suppliers of, of this computing power, I think that NVIDIA has something very special. We use them for training, we use them for inference. Uh, AMD, I think, also is, is really uh, sort of delivering in terms of the, uh, uh, the next generation of chip that they've been working on. We've been providing feedback. We've been doing a lot of software work to be able to, uh, to enable it for inference within our infrastructure. And we really see the whole ecosystem as being something that's coming together to deliver the amount of inference that will be required to bring AI to everyone at scale. And why uh, the uh, warranty? Was it not enough to just have a, a, a terrific partnership? Yeah, maybe, Jim, let me make a comment on that. You know, first of all, I, I think we have to get, you know, really on this big picture of, you know, Sam and Greg need more AI compute, and, you know, our job is to deliver that. You know, the thought process around the warrants is, you know, it's actually hard to build these, um, you know, huge gigawatt deployments in data centers. And we wanted to make sure that this is a long-term deal. So it, it is really an opportunity for us to align AMD and OpenAI together over the long term. And the idea is, you know, as um, OpenAI deploys compute, you know, that's a huge benefit to um, AMD in terms of, you know, the number, the amount of revenue uh, that we get from that. You know, every gigawatt of compute is significant double-digit billions of revenue uh, to us. And as part of that, we have to work really closely together to make sure those deployments are super successful. And as uh, we do that, you know, AM, uh, OpenAI gets to benefit, um, you know, from some of the uh, the success of our work together. So it really is, you know, the best in terms of tying performance to each other. And you know, I want OpenAI to be extraordinarily successful. And um, you know, this gives OpenAI a reason to want us to be successful as well. Lisa, can you uh, can you talk a bit about how the the dynamic, the element of the t of the um, uh, ownership in AMD came about, and how you see that playing out. Well, this is like a um, this is like a, a, a new world when you talk about the type of scale that we're trying to build, the capital intensity of what you need to do, and frankly, the long-term partnership that you need for this type of stuff to be successful. And as Greg said, you know, we've been working uh, with OpenAI for some time. They've given us um, really good feedback, and frankly, they have. Um, some of the best engineers in the world, and they actually, you know, give us a lot of feedback on what we can do better. And so our roadmap today is really exciting.
exciting. You know, today we are uh, shipping the MI350, which has great adoption, but we're even more excited about our next generation, you know, MI450. And you know, this was an opportunity for us to go big together and ensure that the companies are completely aligned as we go forward um, over the next few years. And the beauty of this is it's all performance re related, right? We have to perform and build great chips, which we're confident of. You know, OpenAI has to have all the best models out there to consume all this compute. And together, we're going to um, optimize and ensure that the roadmap is really strong going forward. And I think on the call, you did say it would be highly accretive to both revenue and earnings. That's right. That's right. This is a, a great opportunity uh, for us to really, you know, uh, turbocharge um, our AI footprint. Um, it is significantly accretive to AMD shareholders on day one. And as OpenAI deploys more, uh, we you know, continue to have accretion in terms of revenue growth as well as earnings. And most importantly, uh, you know, we get a long-term partner uh, to address all of this AI compute that the world needs.